and welcome to my video channel. The channel of masturbator. The art and theory of masturbation. Someday, hopefully, you'll see a video text somewhere. Here, or maybe here. But for now, you have to be content with my presence. So, first of all, let me introduce myself to you. I'm Mr. Peter. I'm an almost professional in masturbation. Which means that I'm very good at it, but I don't make any money of it. And that's why I'm here. So now I have some good news for you and bad news for you. The good news are three. One, this channel is for all of you who don't know how to masturbate. Or, in other words, who don't know how to jerk it off. Good news too. It is for all of you who think they know how to masturbate or jerk it off, but do not receive any sexual satisfaction out of it. And the third good news is for those who think they know how to masturbate, but are always afraid of being called in the act. So the good news is that this one is for all of you. What's the bad news is actually that no one of you knows how to do it right, because otherwise you will be happy. And I have one more good news for you. Over the course of this whole channel, we'll have the chance to learn how to do it. But before that, we'll have some good introductory sessions in what masturbation is, what it is good for, what it is bad for, if it is good for something and bad for something at all. So most probably, the first ever video will be about this ancient question to master be or not to master be? Well, to be honest, I don't have a specific question or a specific answer to this question because it is a very general question. Thus, the answer will be very specific to only in case if it is a specific one, but since it is a general one, the answer will be also general. And it will be like that. I don't know. If you ask me, my personal opinion of almost 20 years of experience in masturbation, I will tell you, you should only masturbate if it is of dire need, which means you should only masturbate if you feel that otherwise you will jump out of the window or you will die in another way or just hurt yourself because basically masturbation should be intended if intended at anything at all at Relieving some sexual desire which cannot be relieved in any other way. So it all starts when you have a sexual desire towards someone that you cannot get. This is the way it should start at least. Unfortunately, in many cases people just think that they have to masturbate even though they don't have a sexual desire towards anyone. Which is stupid. Because masturbation is just a replacement for something that you want to have. But if you don't want to have something, or if you don't want to have anything at all, you don't have to replace it. Unfortunately, that's not the case for many of us. I've even heard of someone who was ashamed of the fact that at the age of 22, he was not able or he did not know, know how to masturbate, which actually he has to be proud of because it means that everything is alright with him. He is a pure guy. I would have been happy to be pure. Such a pure guy as him 
at his age, but unfortunately I was not, because I found out some things about the sexual pleasure when I was already, well, 12 or 13, I don't even remember because it was so long ago. But I am proud of the fact that I never did that on purpose when I started doing that. Because I never said to myself, okay, let's masturbate. I just felt a desire and in a way I started to try to complace myself until I found out what has happened or what had happened in that moment. But over the years it became a very bad habit and I am very very happy that now it's over for me and I can only use it for your good guys. So back to the topic of sexual desire towards someone. This is obviously a problem if you are not married. We will talk another time about whether this is a sin or whether it is not, whether it is good or bad for your health, because these are separate topics. But my principal topic for today is whether it is pointless or whether it has any specific sense, if it is good for something or good for nothing. So again, it is good, obviously, if you're already so crazy about someone that you cannot do anything at all and you have to complace yourself this way. But don't forget something. The fact that you're crazy about someone who is not with you in most cases means that you cannot get them. So you're already a loser. Well, if you start replacing this person with your hands, it means you are a double loser. And tell me, honestly, who wants to be a loser? No one wants to be a loser. So you should not masturbate unless you feel that without that you jump out of the window, kill yourself in another way, hurt yourself with a knife or something like that. You should try to do something good. For instance, if I had my teddy bear here, I would show you my teddy bear. You can just take your teddy bear in your hands and huddle him or her. Or if you have some creative energy, because basically sex is about creation, you can invest it in something good. For instance, think about Beethoven. Beethoven was in love with one of his pupils. What did he do? Did he jerk it off? No, obviously no, because he wrote music. He wrote the Moonlight Sonata. Does anyone know who the Moonlight Sonata was written to? You can answer to the question, you can get some specific tips from me as a bonus if you answer to the question in comment. But, there is something that everyone knows. It was written to someone who was underage. So basically, Beethoven was a pedophile, but does anyone say he was a pedophile? No, he was a genius. Also, Fido Elise. He was obviously in love with this girl, but what did he do? He wrote a very beautiful piece of music. There are other guys who write poems, and you know, whenever there is a love poem, which is a sad one, or tells us about unhappy love, it is basically about one single thing. I want to fuck you, but I cannot, because there is someone else who fucks you, or who is fucking you at this moment. So basically what you should do when you cannot fuck the person that you would like to, is do something creative instead, and not destroy yourself. Or, if masturbation does not destroy yourself, at least it steals your money. And if you are so loser to buy something, it steals you even more money. Because, basically, when you do something which is not creative, which does not produce anything, instead of something that produces something, you lose time. And you know that time is money. But if you pay for that, you lose already double money. It's a big loss. Who wants that? No one wants that. It's against the principles of economics. So, I would suggest you, if you can avoid it, to really avoid it. Because you won't get anything of that. But, if you really want to do it, if there is no other way, obviously, I don't want you to kill yourself. Well, I can give you some very good tips on how to do it, and this is what this whole channel will be about. We have some biology, anatomy, history of society, and so on and so forth. But 
most of it will be about practice, about my practice. And obviously, this is a gender equal video channel, which means that girls can also watch this to know how to help their partners. And in the future, I'm going to include some tips for girls how to masturbate themselves. If anyone wants to contribute, you are highly welcome. But before that, before proceeding to our next videos, I want to tell you something more about what to do and what not to do. I've heard about some people who don't have any sexual desire and still want to masturbate, so what do they do? They watch porno. To be honest, I watched porno only once when I was telling a random guy whom I met on the internet that previously two of my roommates were watching porno together and he found that a good idea so he hand me, sent me a link, it was a soft porn and actually at that particular moment I watched it just a pure curiosity and before that I had no sexual desire myself but afterwards I felt the urge to. I don't even remember if in the end I jerked it off or not but the thing is that this thing really aroused some sexual desire that did not exist in me before. So what I'm telling you and which is very important is that if you don't have any sexual desire you should not arouse it artificially because you can spend your time doing something far far more useful. Creating things out of nothing or creating things out of something. Like me. So, see you in my next video, which will be already a little bit harder because it will tell us about whether masturbation is a sin or not. Enjoy!